he went to me, Udon Tani? Udon Tani, what do you want to go there for? He said, it's like way out in the back waters, he said, you can't even buy an effing cup of coffee there over night time. Just out and about with Dave for a few hours this afternoon, it's Friday afternoon, nothing to do with Dave. And um, we've just decided to pull in here for a coffee. I didn't realise I've got a coffee shop in here. So this is the main road. Up there takes you up towards the monument in the centre of Udontani. If you turn left, that takes you down towards the airport. That's the ring road going round there. Turn right there, that takes you up to Big C where our, our house is up towards the right now. So this junction, oh by the way, down that way, that takes you down past the cancer hospital and if you were heading down towards Bangkok that way, straight round there, just follow the road round that takes you round there. So this Honda dealers, quite nice looking building, really nice modern building, and they've got a coffee shop in here I didn't even know, so we're just going to pop in here, have a quick coffee before we go home. Wow, look at this beautiful, beautiful showroom. This is stunning, look at it. Can you believe this is a car showroom? Not Rolls Royce, this is Honda. And this is the kind of quality and the detail. Look at this, the way it's laid out. It's like you're in a hotel, a plush hotel. Triple cafe. This is a Honda dealers. Look at it. It's amazing. It's a Wadi Cup. Absolutely stunning. I was just saying, I'll have to bring Pookie here. It seems strange being out having a coffee without Pook and looking at a new coffee shop. Oh. So I'm going to have to bring her here, I think. Oh. This is really nice. Complimentary ice water. You know, it's the little finishing touches of these places. Look at this. Look, a little photo opportunity for people there in amongst these, these plants. Details like this little piece of artwork on the wall and you'll always get Thai people standing in front of these having their photos done ready for Instagram or TikTok or other bits and pieces. Beautiful finishing touches. You can come up here while you're having your car serviced. Look down to see in the progress. Beautifully laid out workshops. Look at the guys there, white overalls with aprons on. It could be a, a, a Michelin style restaurant with the way they're dressed, those mechanics. It might seem a bit strange going into a gent's toilets with a camera running, but I've already been in and checked there's no one in here. And David said to me, you've got to go and have a look at this place. Again, it's like a five-star hotel. He's not wrong, is he? Well, thanks for bringing us here, Dave. It's really impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it, you would not think you're in a Honda no, car. No, not at all. No, no, not at all. Let me tell you a story, okay? So this is Udon Thani. This is typical Udon Thani. Now, the first time I came to Thailand, um, I was introduced to a guy, a friend of mine in England, living in the same village as me in Bexley. This is before I met Pook. Um, he said to me, go to Thailand, you'll love it. He introduced me to one of his friends, a guy called Tony, living just outside of Passau. 
So I went there, spent time with him, had a great time, came back. The second time I came back to Thailand, I'd met Pook on the flight on the way home. And so Tony, the guy in Thailand, got wind that I was coming back to Thailand and he phoned me up. He said, Kev, great, I've heard you're coming back to Thailand. I said, yeah, I am, yeah. I said, but I'm not coming to Pattaya. He went, what? Where are you going? <laughs> so I told him, I said, look, met this girl on the way home last time, Les probably told you, and um, I'm going up to Udontani to meet her family and friends. He went to me, Udontani? Udontani, what do you want to go there for? He said, it's like way out in the backwater, he said, you can't even buy an effing cup of coffee there over night time. Really? Yeah. Sadly, he's not with us anymore. I wish he was. I'd, I'd pay for him to come up here on a trip to Udontani and show him what the place is actually like. It's Some stunning. people still think we ride around on buffaloes. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what it is, yeah. yeah. But no, absolutely yeah. stunning. Places like this, world class, they really are. I was actually telling Kev that literally uh, five kilometres down the road going towards uh, uh, Kong Can, there's another Honda showroom there. And I went there nine years ago and I was blown away. You go in there, it's a bit like this but also they even got a cinema um, your own cinema you, even if you're the only one you can go in there and they will put the cinema on for you choose sure, a film yeah. and also they've got um, like a bar area where they've got laptop computers and you can go on the laptop computer do your business there and anything and it's all free coffee and drinks yeah, and it makes so. I mean and I can actually say that I actually worked I won't mention the name of the guys but I worked for a Jaguar and Rolls Royce dealership in Southampton and and I can tell you it, it wasn't even 1% as good as this. No. It's, a, it's a different, absolutely different mark. And I, I know it's a different time, but even yeah. there, you go back there yeah. now and look at those showrooms, you've got nothing like Still this. Still nothing like this. They'll pick the car up from you, take it there, or you can drop it off and leave it there. But there's nothing real. Right? They have a little waiting room with like a little instant coffee dispenser on the side if you want a coffee while you're right. waiting. They don't have anything like this, no, do they? No, there's nothing like this in England, Absolutely as stunning. I know of. World class, it yeah. really is. Even the, even the seats we're sti uh, sitting on, mm. me and Kevin were just saying that these are Art Deco type ones, and I would think they're Scandinavian design or something, yeah. but they're just the seats alone, the quality is yeah, it's just no expense at all, really good. Yeah. I'll have to bring Pookie, yeah. I'll definitely bring Pookie. Yeah. That was most enjoyable, really was. So we're going to shoot off now into town. We're going to go into the Landmark building. Um, I, I haven't done a video there, so because we're there, I'm going, to, I'm going to do a quick video and I'll tell you all about the Landmark building, which is a very, very important building in Udontani. And I almost guarantee that anyone who comes to visit or live in Udontani will have a reason at some point to call into the Landmark building. So coming out of the showroom, we jumped in the car and headed into the centre of town. Now, Udantani's got three main roundabouts as you drive through the town. The first one that you come to if you're coming into the city from the south is Prince Prajak Monument Roundabout. Second one is the Fountain Roundabout. And the Clock Roundabout, this one here, is where we bear left and that's where the uh, landmark building is, just on the right hand side, very close to the roundabout. Coming in from the car park onto this level where I am now, you can look across this atrium. You've got the basement down there with a couple of clothes stalls down there. Um, the floor I'm on, there's a Starbucks and a few food places. And then you've got escalators leading up to all the other floors. There's five levels in all. And I'll show you around as we go up. Coming up to the next level from where I was just now, this floor is absolutely rammed with phone shops. Phone shops selling new phones, used phones, phone accessories, everything you could ever want for your mobile. So next floor up from mobile phones is computers. You've got Jib, which is a very, very well-known um, shop in Thailand for computer, more buying computers, computer accessories. 
IT City, Banana is another one. They, they sell a lot of um, equipment in there. Very, very good shop there. They've got a branch over in uh, Central Plaza as well. And then, of course, as you go down there, there's just everything you could ever want. You'll see as we go around, I'll show you some more. This is where um, Pook and I bought our CCTV cameras. They do a really good range of cameras here, and the prices are pretty good as well. And these are what we've got. We've got these at home, and we've got them down on the um, on the mining farm as well. Advice Computers. That's another very, very popular shop here in Thailand. Um, really good quality stuff in there, and that's where I bought Pook's laptop from. Not from that branch there, the one that's closer to where we live. But um, yeah, they're, they're really quite good. Printers. That's remind, that just reminds me. I need a. Um, a toner cartridge for my Hewlett Packard printer. I have to get some prices. The next floor up is a children's paradise. The whole floor is covered with these adventure playgrounds. Absolutely amazing. I said, in fact, I said to Dave, what I should do is have an evening, or maybe even one or two evenings a week, just close this down to kids, make sure there's no kids in there, and just allow adults to pay to go in there. I reckon the place would be full. And then up here on the top floor, there's some food places over there. And the multiplex cinema. I don't know how many screens they've got. Smell of popcorn. It's wonderful. Seven screens they've got. It looks like they've got English subtitles on the film up there, but that's a Thai film. I think it might be the other way around on, on some of the English or American films. We've got some great views over Rudontani. That's the base in the background there. That building, let's see if I can get it. That building there, that's the base. And so that means Bangkok Hospital is around about there. That one, let's see, that one there, Bangkok Hospital. So our house is, I think that's the macro sign, our house is over in this area here somewhere. The windows could do with a clean, but a beautiful view. Right the way over Udontani city. So there you go, a couple more places to see here in Udontani town centre. If you've got any questions, please pop them into the comments section just below this video. And please remember to hit subscribe, it really does help the channel. Thanks very much.